another video. It is Megan. Welcome back to another pink box unboxing. Okay, guys, so I want to apologize because my crumble videos now are going to have to be posted a lot later because when, since crumble has started, the I asked all like my local crumble that have three, four around me in different little, little bitty cities, and they all said here that they don't start cooking the cakes until basically they open so that means like the cakes aren't really ready until an hour after they open and they open a like at nine nine o'clock here instead of eight o'clock so i apologize i hope you guys still want to watch but let's get into this week's cookies slash cakes okay so we have the banana upside down cake that's the cake for this week i'm really excited first up i want to start with the banana upside down cake i have a fork it looks very caramelized if you guys can see that so I'm just gonna dig in. Let me switch sides. I'm I'm right-handed, so I gotta do it so that way I don't fall. Okay, I'm gonna try. Mm. Oh, that's good. Tastes like a vanilla cream mousse. Let me try and get a bot with all the stuff. Okay. Mount Preston on the banana upside down cake. It tastes like banana bread, obviously. It's banana cake, banana upside down cake. It tastes like banana bread. To me, it just tastes, I feel like it would have been really, really good with some nuts in it. And, but this, this whipped cream stuff on top, really good. Like, I wish they could put that all over it. Because the first bite, it was just okay. It just tasted like plain old banana bread. And then whenever I got a taste of the vanilla mousse with the caramel, the caramel on this is very good. Y'all know I always say I'm not a huge fan of caramel. The it on this is very, very, very good. Uh, I give this like a 6 out of 10. I would never get it again. But the frosting, or not the frosting, but the moussey vanilla mousse on top, I give it a 10 out of 10. But the overall, I give it a 6 out of 10. It's not my favorite. Not my favorite at all. Okay, I really want to try the milk chocolate chip. I don't know why, but I'm feeling the milk chocolate chip today. So we got the milk chocolate chip. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Mm. They make that so good today. Yeah. And then we gotta try the Kentucky butter cake because that one, the Kentucky butter cake and the cornbread for me, I feel like it's in the same. They don't taste anything the same, but I feel like they're in the same category in my brain. Love the Kentucky butter cake. Kentucky butter cake. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear a dog barking. It's not my dog. It's my neighbor's dog. Mm. It's not as buttery as normal. This one's good. This one I give a 10 out of 10. I love this one. If you like plain Jane cookies, I feel like this is a good one. There's a little bit of sweetness flavor, not over the top. I love the powdered sugar. There is a butter taste. It's just not as powering as it normally is, but can't go wrong with Kentucky butter cake. Buttery, just not as buttery as normal tasting. I feel like that's because it's a little bit more cooked and it's very soft in the center, but it's a little more cooked. I've noticed when Crumble's cookies are cooked at different times are different they're cooked a little bit longer and then versus a little bit less they taste different i don't know why you think it would taste the same i don't know but 10 out of 10 for this one i love a kentucky butter cake okay and then we're gonna try the sticky bun this lives up to its name because it looks very very sticky 
sticky bun. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh, it's very soft. Oh, it's filled. I know some people like me to read the descriptions. I've been putting them on the screen. I like to be surprised by the cookie. I don't know why. It just, it's just exciting. But I didn't know it was filled. That looks, okay. Mmm. I was not expecting that. This one's hella sweet, but it tastes like an elevated brown sugar pop tart. That's what it. That's what it. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like a elevated brown sugar pop tart. It tastes like there. Ooh, that filling on the inside. That's what it is. And then on the center, whenever I bit it after I broke it, you get a really good crunchy taste from the streusel on top. I give this a 10 out of 10. I honestly didn't think I was gonna like this. This tastes like a elevated brown sugar pop tart. It tastes like it had you got a brown sugar pop tart with extra, extra, extra brown sugar sugary goodness. That's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like a very extravagant brown sugar pop tart. Okay. Next, let's try the pink velvet. Everybody knows the pink velvet. It's been out so many times. I feel like it's one of the OGs at this point. This one is not bad, but it's absolutely not one of my favorites. Like if this was sitting on my counter and I was craving something sweet, I would get it. But if I was going in, I would not specifically want this cookie. Does that make sense? It's good, I give it an eight out of 10, has good flavor. The icing is always good. It's just very sweet to me. The flavor is good. I don't know why, but it does taste like pink. It tastes kind of like a strawberry flavor into it. It might be in my head. I'm not 100% sure because I feel like our, our our eyes trick our brain sometimes when we see things. But I give this an 8 out of 10. It's not my favorite. Very good flavoring. It does taste sort of like a cupcake-ish. It's a little bit more harder on the outside. Mine is at least. I know some locations are probably going to be different. The icing on top definitely reminds me of cupcake icing. I think that's why I don't like it. I don't, I'm not really a fan of this type of icing from Crumble, but I do really like the cookie. I just wish that there was just a little bit less icing. Okay, and now let's do the confetti milkshake. Confetti milkshake. This one, I'm not the biggest fan of either. I love when they do these sprinkles like this. I give this one a seven out of 10. I love the sprinkles when they bake, when Crumble bakes the sprinkles into the cookies. That's one of my favorite things that they do. But I feel like this is, I feel like this, I feel like this cookie specifically, I know I said the pink velvet was very sweet. This one, I always just feel like I'm just eating straight sugar. That's exact. it just tastes like sugar. That's all, that's all that this tastes like. And it also could be because I tried all the cookies because you know when you eat specific things, like if you eat a lot of sugar, then stuff just starts to taste like sugar. So that might be why, but I feel like most confetti cookies or confetti birthday cake flavored things, I feel like it just tastes like sugar. Sugar and like a hint of vanilla. That's what it tastes like. Okay, y'all. Now it's time to rate. Not really rate, I already rated them. Let me tell you guys what my favorite one was, which I already think you can tell by that from when I rate them, but it's okay. First up, definitely Kentucky Butter Cake. That one's so good. Then second, definitely the Sticky Bun. I honestly was going into this just by looking at it, not thinking that I was gonna like it at all. Loved it. If you love a brown sugar Pop-Tart, you're gonna be all over that. Third, definitely had to be, I like the Pink Velvet third. And then, actually, hold that. No. Kentucky Butter Cake, Sticky Bun, and then the Banana Upside Down Cake. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I would never get it again, but I liked it over the other two. And then Pink Velvet, and then Confetti Cake. 
feel like it's so interesting because everybody has different opinions and some people really like this week some people like last week i'm so sad that when we were traveling moving across country they had brought back the trust luscious cake i love the trust luscious cake and i couldn't get it but hopefully they bring it out again soon i feel like they should bring it out for like the holiday menus because i feel like that's just i don't know i feel like trust lush cake you know what i mean i feel like it's just It'd be good for like a holiday menu item, you know? But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that notification bell down below so you always get notified when I post a video. I love y'all so, so much. Stay safe, be kind to one another, and hopefully I see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.